Okay, so let me tell y'all about like the worst car experience I ever had. I went to this dealership, right? Um, it's a it's actually supposed to be a pretty good dealership, and I went to you know the dealership's website. Well, first of all, I went to the dealership's website to see about this car. Um, it was a silver car. And they were talking about, like, how great it was. It's so amazing. It's so nice. And the mileage is low and all that bull mess. And it looks like the car's been, like, freshly painted. Yeah, it's an old car. Yeah, it's a 2001 or 2002, whatever. But they were only selling it for, like, under 2000 They were selling it under $2,000. And I'm like, yeah, this is a perfect car for me. <clears throat> I'm going to go to that dealership. And like after I see it and after I text drive and after I ask after I ask for the Carfax and all that stuff, then I will say yes. I will go to that dealership and I will say yes, I want that car. So anyway. I go to the dealership. Very early. So far the experience is good. The guys, they're nice. And all that. So the guy, um, one of the guys, like when I went into the office to talk to the dealer, he asked me what car was I talking about, and he told me to go on my phone and look it up. I thought that was kind of weird because it's like you should know what cars you have in your inventory. I mean, like if you don't know, well then you search it on the computer. So like, why, why would I, why was I, you know, trying to search up the car on my phone? You know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, I searched up the car. And so I got a, he called a dealer, another dealer to come over. I guess, I think that was the head guy I was talking to. So anyway, the dealer finally comes over and then he's like, what car you want? And so I told him the car. And so he went outside and then he brought the car around. And then everybody was like, the car's outside. When I went outside, right, and I walked down, the, I went outside and I opened the door. I opened the door. I saw that car. It looked nothing like the pictures. I mean, it looked, it was the same car in the picture, but it looked nothing like it. The car had paint missing and a new paint job. You can clearly tell, like, the little, what's the little sealant things around the windows? Like, that also needed to be replaced because that was, like, dry rotted or whatever. So, like, there was so many, um, there were so many issues from the moment I saw it. Now, what did I hear? When I open the door, I keep saying open the door because I heard a loud, um, it was, it was very like, <laughs> and it turns out there was like a, um, something on the end of the exhaust, you know, that's, um, making that noise. It was like, <laughs> and it sounds absolutely terrible. It was something on the end of the exhaust that making that noise, and then he's like, "Yeah, they just put that on there just to make make the sound, make it sound good or whatever." So the car looked effed up. It was making a weird noise, and I was absolutely, I was almost like, I was almost almost lost for words. So anyway, I got up in that car. Well, I was going to drive, but then my dad's like, I'm going to drive. So, my dad, you know, the, the car guy, he said, oh, that's cool. He can drive, whatever. And then I asked the car guy, the dealer, the dealer, are you going to get in the car with us to drive? You know, drive with us, you know, in case, like, we are going to, in case, like, we're going to steal the car or something like that. Because they always get inside, you know. But he didn't want to get inside. I'm like, are you going to get inside? He's like, no. Are you going to get inside? No. <laughs> he, he It almost seemed like he was kind of scared of the car. And I'm like, okay, so maybe this car looks, you know, kind of ugly on the outside, but maybe it's better on the inside. So anyway, I sit in the car. I sit in the car, and so the seats were, they were okay. <laughs> so that's the most positive thing you're going to hear me say in this whole entire video. We started driving, right? And then next thing I know, um, there were lights on the on the dashboard SRS. I think that means like the, the airbags, something wrong with the airbags. And then I looked that up on my phone, and it said that that means the airbags will not deploy if we're ever in a car accident. 
So that's bad. And also, it said the car need a maintenance on it. And I thought that was like also kind of strange because it's like, it said a car dealership. Don't they maintain these cars? Like, aren't they supposed to like make sure these cars are functioning? Like, so that they could like resell it. Because that's what the car was. It was like, you know, bought from somebody, bought for somebody else. And then like, so they could resell it. But no, like, the car didn't have any type of maintenance on it. And also, after driving it for, like, maybe, like, my dad drove it for, like, maybe two minutes, the the engine light turned on. There was something wrong with the freaking engine. And last time I checked, car dealerships, they're not supposed to sell, they're not supposed to be buying cars in the first place with engine problems. They're not supposed to be doing that. Because I, I mean, I talked to like um, a few people at dealerships already. No, they don't have the car because they had problems. Oh, they had to give the car back because the car had problems. Yeah, the car had engine problems, so they gave it back to the owner. This car here had engine problems, airbag problems. I, I didn't even turn on the air conditioning. I hope the air conditioning was working. And also, as my dad was driving the car, there was also something wrong with the brakes. The brakes. Um, the, I mean, like, me, like, I'm a complete unprofessional. So you know it's bad when an unprofessional, a person that barely knows anything about cars, get into a car and see all these problems with it. Okay, this is the problem I saw. There's something wrong with the wheels. There's something wrong with the, the axles, you know? It's like a, there's just something wrong with it. Like, it's seriously, it's seriously broken. There was also some wrong with the, the odometer. <laughs> the car wasn't low in miles at all. The odometer was wrong, and the car dealership lied. <laughs> I went on, I went, I saw the Carfax, because I asked for the Carfax. And the guy, of course, the dealer, he didn't want to give it to me, because he was like, the car, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a $2,000 car, it's under $2,000. I mean, you know, it's under $2,000, you know, don't expect to get something great. It's like... Buying this car is like buying it off the streets, and if the, if you have a problem with it, you can't you can't turn it back or whatever. I'm like, really? If I had a problem, he's like, well, only if you have like an engine or a transmission issue, then you can turn it back to us. It already has an engine issue. It already has it, so I don't know what they're gonna do about that. But anyway, I didn't see the Carfax when I got that car. What what other issues? There was something wrong with the the odometer. The odometer was wrong. It said that it was like a hundred and something, like maybe a hundred and ten, um, a hundred and ten miles on it. But when I went to look at the Carfax, it actually had oh well over two thousand, two hundred thousand miles on it. And so like and so the next year. It was clocked down, so it said that on the Carfax that something was wrong with it. And this was when I was at home. I didn't look at the Carfax when I was at the place, because as soon as I got out of the car, I wanted to leave. There was some, <laughs> there was something wrong with the, with the speedometer, because the speedometer was like very very slow to actually go up. So I don't know. There's just something wrong with it. I don't know how many lights were. Up. I think there were like about three lights on the dashboard three at least three or four because there were so many issues wrong with this car it's like the person who had it really didn't take care of it and i also saw on the car facts i also saw how the last person who had that car only had it for a month and then he gave it away <laughs> and then he gave it away like it was crazy but so yeah when i talked to the car dealer um when we got a car I was like, he tried so hard to sell me this car. It almost felt, it almost felt like he was being like a, a lawyer, almost like he's like, cause this is a two thousand dollar car. I don't expect to get anything better than two thousand, better for a two thousand dollar car. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna go up five thousand dollars, and it, it just felt like he was kind of like just like saying, excuse me. <laughs> It just kind of felt like he was, like, saying, like, it's my issue. But, no, this car's out there that, like, you know, people taking care of, and it doesn't really have, like, 
insane amount of issues like that, you know? It's old, of course, but it doesn't mean that it's going to kill you, you know? Um, because my dad actually has a car like that. It's old, but it's not going to kill us because it's been taken care of. Um, so anyway, I said to the guy, thank you for your time. And at the end, like, when I was speaking to him, like, he was looking at the car like this. <laughs> you can tell that the man was scared of the car. You know something is bad when a dealer is himself refuses to get in that car because he had to drive out to the front. And once he drove out to the front, he didn't want to get back in it. <laughs> I don't know. You know something wrong with that. You know. But anyway, that's my experience with the car dealership and all that. It was pretty freaking bad, but. You know, I kind of want to, it's like, I kind of want to listen to the guy and get a car that's like at least like, you know, around $5,000, $4,000 or something like that. So it's just a new car to be like my actual first car. <laughs> so that's it, guys.